Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I was doing a live that completely got messed up due to poor network issues. I have a Jio SIM, I have a Vodafone SIM, I have an Airtel, I have a BSNL, I have, a, I have like crazy amount of SIMs, but that's why we're going to do a quick walk around live. Here we go. So these are the cars I'm driving today. This is the Skoda Octavia on the right. And on the left, we've got the Hyundai Elantra. Both of them are petrol automatics, but the Octavia is obviously turbocharged because Skoda makes turbocharged engines. Actually, the VW group makes it. Anyways, this is the Elantra. Both of them are automatic, like I told you. Car looks really very nice. It looks really dope. I love the front end, especially at night when you look at the lights. It looks super duper awesome. The Octavia, well, it's a little bit mumbo jumbo because it does not look that striking, but it gets a headlight washer, a feature which many car makers have already removed. Again, the wheels are super boring here. I don't know why, but someone's put a sticker on the top of the Elantra, which hasn't come out. Bugatti Chiron is really pissed because of the lights. They look so freaking similar. And uh, from the side again, those alloy wheels like, whoa, 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 what's happening? Step inside and you realize that the design is actually really nice. I love the steering wheel. I love the fact that it gets ventilated seats as well. Meanwhile, at the rear, there's decent amount of space as well. So, as you can see, the Elantra definitely looks fresher, but the Octavia is so good, I don't even understand why they're thinking of launching, yes, that's right, the next generation model, because this is almost brilliant. Yeah, actually, it's brilliant. Boot is massive. You can easily park Neha's Lamborghini Urus inside it, the orange colored one. And uh, I love the design of the Octavia. It's so freaking smooth, elegant, and subtle as well. This car absolutely flies anyways let's open the rear seat there's good amount of space on offer here i know the seats have been pushed all the way behind so just pardon that for the moment it's the lnk trim it says lauren and clement here lnk the founders of the company and there you see between both these cars which one do you like more i mean obviously the elander looks better but the octavia drives so much better and being a turbocharged engine it's just so much more responsive anyways since I told you both are petrols, the Octavia happens to be the 1.8 TSI with the DSC gearbox. Meanwhile, look at auntie there. What's up auntie? Yeah, I don't know what Neha is up to. Anyways, <laughs> let's get inside the Octavia. Love the DRLs. I love the DRLs here also, but they put the indicator below here. What's the logic? Air curtains, they've actually removed the auto hold function from the Elantra. Why Hyundai? Why would you do cost cutting? So I've actually done the vlog on this. This is yet to go live. I'm going to be doing the vlog on the Octavia real soon. And uh, Honda Civic no wants to know my location. Well, I could have called the Honda Civic very easily. I didn't plan this because the Elantra is here with me since last week and it never went only. I don't know why. I went and I went out of town and I came back. The Elantra was still there. Meanwhile, the Octavia I've been asking since two months. It's finally come. Otherwise, I could have called the Civic as well. And Honda is so responsive. If I tell them today I want the Civic by evening, it would come. As you can see, the design is subtle but really super duper awesome. Here, let's get into reverse. And there's a reverse parking camera. It gets adaptive guidelines as well. Meanwhile, you obviously get parking sensors along with, yeah, self-park. Okay. I love the instrument cluster. I mean, look at this. That is so freaking cool, right? I mean, multiple modes and there are even more which you can change from inside this. So, it's a completely loaded car. Drives beautifully well. Love the DSG box as well. So many times as well. Uh, these are not the keys of the Elantra. These are the keys of the Hyundai Grand i10 Nios. Nios. Yeah, so I've, I've been like vlogging on so many cars of late. You will go absolutely nuts if I tell you. So let's do one thing. Yeah, turn around. The frame fine. Yeah, it seems so. So I've been vlogging on a lot of cars. I've been like super, super occupied vlogging. I have done a vlog on the Elantra, which will come soon. I've, I did a vlog on the Espresso recently. I did a vlog on Neha's Duster. I was really mad about it. And I was, and I was giving it the beans. Anyways, uh, then what else did I vlog on? Octavia vlog has to be done. It's been a crazy week. Innova vlog is coming soon. Innova Krista vlog is coming soon. Some of the questions which I recollect from the live right now, which we did, unfortunately, because the network issue had to delete it. And I was like, there's no point of me keeping a live wherein all I'm saying is, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Can you see me? Is it buffering? Blah, blah, blah. So I'm just doing this quick sort of a live video shooting here. I'm going to upload it like real soon. So I was telling you about a lot of things, specifically, I don't know which camera to look at because it's confusing here right now. But I was telling you guys about what all videos I've shot recently and uh, you know, vlogs going to be coming. Seltos I'm going to be doing really soon. Do not worry about it. Fortuna I'm going to do. And uh, people asking me why are FKR pants out of stock because they are completely out of stock. They're not available. Even 
most of the size of the gloves are out of stock and jacket only few sizes are left so if you guys plan to buy it buy it asap because it's going to go out of stock really soon and because it's a limited edition we are not going to plan to make more units of those that's how it works so today is a wednesday why am i doing a live on a wednesday what is the logic actually saturday sunday i was in chennai i was super busy uh, you know in chennai i did not do a live this whole weekend so i thought why not do a live on a wednesday because it's been 10 days since i spoke to you guys and it's always nice when i speak to you guys because there's so many things to learn from you guys as well now i know what is the elephant in the room which is the better car among the two straight away okay let's imagine there's a civic standing right next to it so same petrol cvt out of the three cars the octavia is the most expensive but it's also the most powerful it has the best suspension system the steering is the best in the Civic, the ride quality is best in the Elantra, so it's like a mixed bag of both. But overall, in terms of features, in terms of equipment, driving ability, speed, performance, acceleration, quality, feel good factor, stability, I mean everything almost. The Octavia shines. It is by far the best car in the segment without a doubt. And with the RS coming very soon, it's a no-brainer. If the Civic drops its CVT and gets a manual, well, it's worth considering. But as I see it right now, if you're looking for a value for money pick. Elantra. If you're looking for the best car in the segment, Octavia. And if you're looking for something which is practical yet reliable, extremely reliable, easy upkeep, and looks absolutely mind-bogglingly stunning, the Honda Civic. Are you missing out any car? Toyota Corolla. Well, if you have a taxi business, definitely the Toyota Corolla is the one which will appeal to you. But in this whole era of SUVs, launching these cars makes no sense, right? No, not really. Because if you drive this car, you will understand why it is such a brilliant piece of engineering. I mean. Octavia OMG it is so freaking awesome you drive it you will love it this MQB platform car is so brilliant i mean i don't know what to say that that will improve the car because it's so brilliant already but i think the few things which can make it better like for instance it could get ventilated seats at the front that will be really nice more power wouldn't hurt and uh, the independent suspension of the rear which is there in the 1.8 TSI this particular car should also be offered in the diesel and the 1.4 TSI but next generation i know what they're going to do We know VW Group now, so next generation will have only a 1.4 DSI. They'll drop the 1.8, which is really sad. Where are these insects coming from? Yesterday I was shooting in the night. Uh, I put on my Instagram story pictures of uh, when you and it entered and all those things. You won't believe it. You won't absolutely not believe. I killed at least 15 mosquitoes. My full hand was red. And um, I'm also driving the Venue DCT right now, so that is also amazing car. I love the fact that you know the engine is really very responsive, and for Hyundai car handling is actually quite nice as well as steering feel, but it's a little bit on the stiffer side. And space is a bit of a constraint, but still, Hyundai has done brilliant packaging. In fact, nowadays the cars have become so nice, even the dust is so good in terms of suspension, in terms of acceleration, in terms of smoothness and refinement. Even to the diesel model, it's shocking, surprising, and pleasant at the same time. Oh God, there is the supercar. Yeah, there it is, the Maruti Glanza. Sorry, 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 sorry. the Toyota Glanza with Suzuki logo. Yeah, that didn't sound well. Anyways, as you can see, the Octavia is super duper smooth. I mean, yes, Skoda has done a great job. And let's go and tease Neha and ask her: Does she miss Skoda anymore, or what is the scenario on that? Okay, here we go. Firstly, we'll just jump and show you the cars again. Just let me know which one you'll pick, right or left, or rather, I'll make it more clear: Octavia or the Elantra. Hi, what's up? Hi. How are you? There's something stuck in your ears. Acha, listen na. Don't you think the Octavia is brilliant? Don't you think Skoda cars are amazing? No. Don't you think Skoda is a better brand than Renault? No. Why? What happened? Elantra is the best. What happened? Why did you sell? Why did you? Why did you sell? Why did you sell? Why did you sell your Superb? Huh? Oh really? Okay. Let me upload the Instagram stories when the Octavia came. How you were behaving? How you went crazy? How you were like, oh Skoda? It's a fact. Oh look at that. The elder brother of the super SUV, the Urus. That is the Urus Super Sport. Actually, you know, we should call this the Urus, and we should call that as the Q8 RS. What say? Oh, look at that. There's another Audi there, A3, and that Safari. Oh God, I think we need to clean it and go for a drive in that vehicle. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this live session. Now, what is the plan? We are almost reaching 700k. So, I'm really thankful and grateful to everyone out there who has subscribed and been. loyal to the channel by looking at videos and hitting that like button and also commenting you guys are awesome and i love you to the core but uh, you know what 700k is coming which means that the vlog of the jcb is going to be come wear seat belt at the back also okay that means that uh, okay doctor i don't know where it's going but yeah one second stop uh, okay see both the cars look so small now somehow in my fish eye wide lens but then i don't need a gimbal i can just walk around aram se without any issue whatsoever so what was i saying yeah 700k is coming which means that the jcb vlog 
is going to come anytime soon. It's actually going to come at 700k. And there it is, the beautiful looking Hyundai Elantra. So guys, thank you so much for tuning into this live session. I really appreciate you guys taking in this time to think that it's a live session, but it's not, li not a live session. Because unfortunately, the internet is really patchy somehow. But I will see you in a proper live this weekend on a Saturday with a car which kind of has a weird name which Jeremy Clarkson pronounces as... You guys got the hint. I will see you on Saturday in a live session. Bye bye. Take care. See you. Ouch. What happened? Nothing. What is this ouch? Nobody did anything at all. <laughs>